I'm having ramyeon for lunch. Everyone acts surprised. This is kimchi ramyeon. This is my second favorite, right next to the shin ramyeon. Is it like an Asian thing to do this? Because I remember when I was growing up, whenever any of my friends would eat um, ramen or ramyeon, they would never do this or any noodles, I guess. They would never have like a separate bowl. So let me know if you're Asian and you do this or if you're not Asian and you do or you don't do this. Like the whole putting the noodles in a separate bowl. I do it because it like cools it down. And then when you slurp, like the soup doesn't get everywhere. Mmm. Feeling lazy. Why am I not feeling lazy? So for dinner, I'm just having some spaghetti. And this is some garden beef with tomato paste. I don't know why I'm always using a rubber spatula for this process. Marinara. And then I like to put all of this over the heat and add some Parmesan cheese. Can I start filming the sirens come? The sirens have been going off all day. I'm going to be trying out this Asian inspired chopped salad kit. We got it from Whole Foods, it looked pretty tasty. What if I added some rice? I should have added the rice first. I, <laughs> whatever. God, who is messaging me? Never tried this before. Oh my gosh. Hmm. It's pretty good. Hmm. I'm 
I'm finally continuing this K-drama that I started a little while ago. It's super cute. I really, really like it. And I saw uh, some of the guys eating jajangmyeon, so I decided to make myself some. Well, not really make. It is instant, but K-dramas always make me crave Korean food. It's like I can't watch a K-drama and then not have Korean food. So this is some instant jajangmyeon. I also have some kimchi on the side. I just got back from the gym, like the gym, not my apartment gym, the gym. I haven't gone to the gym, not counting my apartment gym, I haven't gone to the gym in like a year, over a year maybe? So I haven't like properly weight trained <laughs> in over a year and today was my first day going back and I was so much weaker which is like obviously to be expected I was so much weaker than I was a year ago I put the bar like on my back to squat and oh my god <laughs> the bar alone felt so heavy so yeah a lot weaker but it made me realize like how important your environment is when you do like weight training or really getting into the gym at least for me it's different for everyone but for for me, I thought I had like really fallen out of love with resistance training because I like never really do resistance training at my apartment gym. You guys know I just like, I like to do my cardio and that's really it. Like sometimes I'll do resistance training, but not really. When it used to be the other way around, I used to like always do resistance training and maybe do cardio, right? But over the past year, I've mainly been doing cardio. But going back to the gym, even though I was a lot weaker, it didn't even like discourage me. It felt so freaking good to go back. Like I loved it. It felt freaking amazing. Hopefully I can keep this momentum going when I move. It felt really, 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 really good to get back into it. I also have some strawberries, like a mug of strawberries. I got these mugs on Amazon and I freaking love them. Mm. So I'm about to start making some lunch and I painted my nails. My nails are so short, oh my gosh. I like never have my nails painted, but I like when they're painted. And I'm going to make some kimchi fried rice. So I have sesame oil. Kimchi fried rice is like one of the easiest dishes in the entire world. And I'm also going to have like an egg roll on the side. So I added shiitake mushrooms and now I'm gonna add the kimchi. And I think I'm gonna add some cheese to my kimchi fried rice, which I've never really, I don't think I've ever done before, but I see that it's popular. I feel like most people use mozzarella, but I don't have mozzarella, but I do have this Colby Jack shredded cheese, this veal life shredded cheese. i just do that. Oh, you know what would've been good? If I put the egg like around and experiment for another day. I'm excited to try the kimchi fried rice with the cheese. I wonder what it tastes like. I'm sure it's gonna taste good. I feel like my mom is rolling over in her grave if she sees me eat kimchi fried rice with cheese. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Mmm. Yep, you guys already know. Having noodles for dinner, the usual. I cried so much today, guys, because I'm gonna be getting a cat when I move. So I was looking up cats for adoption. I literally just started bawling. Cats make me so emotional. Like I cried, I think for a good 45 minutes this morning, just looking at cats. They didn't even have like sob stories. They were just, you know, put up for adoption. And I was just bawling my eyes out. I'm so excited to get a cat. Oh my God. Da -da. 
simple breakfast that you guys have seen many times before sorry about the dishwasher and the dishwasher noise in the background i completely forgot to run it last night so i'm limited on dishes mm. i wanted to make a bacon egg and cheese but i don't have any pans I didn't get to have it for breakfast, so I'm gonna have it for lunch. Having a bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel, sesame seed bagel. I really wanted this for breakfast, but like I said, none of my dishes were washed. So I decided to have it for lunch. Mmm. Usually when I would like talk to you guys, I would do a voiceover over me like eating this food, but I just want to chat. I just want to chat face to face. We'll address the elephant in the room, being the, the title. And before you guys dislike the video, I mean, some of you guys might dislike the video just because you don't like my face, but it's not what you think. Is it a little clickbaity? Maybe. Mm. But yeah, I'm not vegan anymore. But I kind of am still. Mm. I don't eat the things I eat and I don't eat the way that I eat. <laughs> the way I eat has nothing to do with being vegan. Like I don't eat vegan foods because I'm vegan. I just kind of eat the way that I eat because I want to. Like there's not really a reasoning behind it. I just don't like animal products. The reason that I actually am doing this, it took me a really long time. I was like, should I even make a video about this? Or should I even talk about this? But when I say I'm not vegan, I just mean I'm not going to apologize for making a mistake. I think the reason why I don't like to identify as a vegan, <laughs> I'm talking about like, I'm talking about like my sexuality or something. Like I don't want to identify as a vegan. I don't identify as like bisexual. I don't identify as this. So stupid. Which is another reason why I'm doing this is because like the idea of labeling my diet is not something that I am really comfortable with because the whole point of me recovering and i'm not saying that being vegan has like awoken my eating disorder or triggers me or any way but the whole point of like my recovery my personal recovery is the fact that i don't there's no foods that are like wrong there's no foods that i'm not allowed to have and i feel like putting the label of like vegan on my diet which is like i did that to myself you know makes it seem as if there's like wrong foods to eat and I didn't like that. And I didn't like how if I ate something that had milk in it, if I didn't have like a YouTube or if I didn't like promote myself, I guess, as being vegan, I would just be like, eh, whatever. And I probably, I would finish it, you know, whatever it was. If I got like a bag of chips and I didn't realize that it had milk in it, I would just finish it, you know? The reason that I don't have products with milk in it is because milk does not really agree with me. And I just decide to not have foods with milk in it but not it's not because i'm vegan does that make sense i just don't like the whole how if i eat something i and it has you know when i'm parked in like whether it be milk or eggs or whatever i have to like make a segment in a video or i have to like put text on the thing or whatever on the video where i'm like apologizing for eating and i just don't like having that like connection with food i don't like how i have to like apologize for certain things that i accidentally eat i don't know it gives the whole like connotation that like there are certain foods that are bad and i feel like it could be triggering to you guys too if i eat something that has milk in it i'm like saying that this food is bad not all of you guys are vegan like you guys don't view this food as bad and i feel like i am portraying that certain foods are wrong or bad or like not good or you're not allowed to eat and i don't like that the way that i eat like the way that i don't eat animal products and stuff think of a food that you don't like any food that's how i view animal products you just don't eat it because you don't want it you don't like it and that's kind of how i feel about like animal products that food that you dislike was added to something you probably wouldn't eat it like at least like for me avocado is a big one like i do not like avocado i know that's a bit controversial people might dislike the video just because i don't like avocado but i don't like avocado and if i see a dessert that like has avocado in it even though people say like oh you don't taste the avocado i don't want it the idea of something having avocado in it I don't like um, but if I eat something and then someone's like oh hey by the way that has avocado in it what am I gonna do like spit it out and that's kind of how I feel about animal products when I say I'm not vegan anymore it just means I'm not going to be like apologizing if I eat something that wouldn't be considered vegan I eat the way I eat because this is how I want to eat not because I'm like confined in this vegan box I also just I see a lot of other like vegan people and I feel like they are a lot more passionate 
about it and I'm not really passionate about it. I really believe that you should have the freedom to eat however you want to eat and I don't think ill of anyone that decides to eat animal products. And I also feel like being vegan and being being like passionate about being vegan comes with that automatic like connotation that you think poorly of people that eat animal products or you're like constantly trying to encourage people to go vegan and I've never encouraged people, I've never encouraged anyone to go vegan because why should I? You know, it's your choice. You can do whatever you want. That's all this was. I mentioned this on stream and so many people were like, whoa, really? <laughs> But you guys aren't gonna start seeing me like eating steak and stuff on my channel. Like I don't eat steak because I don't like steak. <laughs> I don't want steak. I hope this made sense. I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this part of the video. I don't know. And I know people will comment on your diet no matter what you do, which is really unfortunate. I feel like no one should comment on anyone's diet unless you're a professional and someone is coming to you for help regarding that. So people will comment on my diet no matter what. But another thing that I didn't like is how people would like comment things that I did wrong or on like comment on mistakes that I made as a vegan. I don't know, I just didn't like the whole like connection that veganism has with food. That's all. And I brought this upon myself. I never want to have to like make a, I could be argued that that's what I'm doing right here. But I never want to have to make an entire video that's like 20 minutes long or whatever. Talking about like how I'm not vegan anymore and how I want, how I'm like apologizing or whatever. If I ever decide to not eat the way that I eat, it's just gonna happen. I'm not gonna make an entire video about it. Which I mean, I kind of am here, but like you guys know what I mean, right? I'm still gonna eat the way I eat. I just am not identifying <laughs> as a vegan. I can't get over how much it sounds like I'm talking about sexuality, which is why it's so weird, like putting labels on diets. I always find like kind of weird because you're just eating the way that you eat. Like why does your diet need a specific label? Like food is just food. I feel like I've just been anti-labels as a whole, like in general, because that's what I feel about like my sexuality too. Who needs labels? Like why, why do you perceive me in the first place, you know? I know some people really like labels and that's totally fine, but I feel like labels kind of put you in this like very specific box. And the way that I view labels is kind of like, think of a math test that's multiple choice. And you have like four multiple choice answers and you type in the equation in your calculator and you get a number that is not one of the choices. So you pick the number that's close, you pick the choice that's closest to what you got in the calculator. Like that's how I feel about labels. So I'm kind of just like, huh, I might not even keep this in the video, but if I did, hey. <laughs> Toasting another bagel, because y'all already know, if I don't eat my bagels as soon as possible, they get really stale and hard and bleh. I'm also just finishing these up because the best buy date is tomorrow. Mmm, these are my favorite. I love these. Oh no! I have to like look up grocery stores by my new apartment. Hopefully there's an Asian grocery store. Or Whole Foods nearby. I feel like it might be farther because I'm not gonna be living in like the city like I do now. I don't mind anything to get out of this freaking apartment. I'm so ready to move. Oh my God, I'm so excited, you guys. I hope you guys are excited to see me move. Mm. I'm gonna get a cat when I move. Are y'all ready for cat vlogs? I don't think you are. <laughs> 
I ordered Uber Eats. <laughs> I got sushi. I got sushi and then I also got, oh here's the sushi, okay. This is the fried tofu roll with cucumber. Mm. I also like getting the mushroom tempura roll and it comes with mayo and I usually just ask, like I put in the special instructions, I'm like no mayo, ooh. I say no mayo, please, but the option to add special instructions wasn't there for some reason, so I don't know what that was about. Mm. We got more rice. This is aged tofu. It's just like fried tofu. And then I got a container of stir-fried vegetables. Mmm. Mashusayo. Oishi. Can I get some peace when I eat? Oh my god. I'm having ramyam for lunch. I've gotten like none of this video edited. I should be working, but um, instead I'm having ramyam. I keep getting distracted. I'll get it done eventually. <laughs> More noodles. <laughs> Got my usual noodle dish here, which is bok choy, shiitake mushrooms, tofu, and I usually use like udon noodles, but I decided to use these noodles, which I usually use for um what? Oh my god, jajangmyeon. But I decided to use it for my soup today because why not? This is me being crazy. Still have not finished editing the video. This video so that's good. Not even halfway through. Good. Good. I'll try to get up really early tomorrow to finish it. Because I want to watch Kingdom with my friend. I want to show him the, the Stray Kids stage. I have my priorities straight. If you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!